Hi everybody, Matt here. I uh, want to do a quick video on how to upgrade the firmware on a 2016 Covert Cold Black 12.0. I got one here set up on a tree looking over um, a little bit of corn. And I got an external homemade battery pack there, 6 volt. Just run straight into the camera, no problem. And I, I have never done a firmware upgrade out in the field before um on these new cameras so i thought this would be an experience for for everybody uh the way i understand it there's a few steps involved there's like eight or nine steps most of them are pretty simple uh, the first thing we need to do is we need to set it to set up so that we can get access to the screen here and i don't know if you can see that i uh, need to let it acquire signal which you would think that uh had already acquired a signal being that it was up and online but it needs to acquire a signal in setup mode and uh, these cameras are notorious for taking their time so we'll set here let it acquire a signal as you notice I'm running uh, all T energy uh, NICAD batteries uh, that's what you're supposed to do or you're supposed to run rechargeable batteries in your camera when you have an external battery pack seems to work pretty good with this battery pack set up i don't have to worry about changing batteries ever um, it stays depending on how cloudy the day is uh, the battery bar on the on the pictures that i receive range from eight to nine all right, so it looks like we have acquired signal. So we need to go to menu. All right, then we need to go, I believe it's system. And go down to, see, we can look at the firmware version. Okay, that shows 3.00.28.02. All right, and hit menu to exit out of there. I think maybe it's net. Let's see here. Yes, there it is. Need to go to firmware download. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do this one handed on my phone and everything, so. And tell it yes. Alright, it says connect the server. Checking, and it says download firmware one of nine so I assume that's going to have to go to nine of nine and it says to hit OK to execute so I punched OK and we'll see if it does anything here and I don't know how long it's supposed to take or anything like that so just bear with me here I'll leave the camera rolling so you can get an idea of how fast it is to download. See, we uh, already jumped up to two of nine, so we're looks like we're good. We're getting there. For everybody viewing this video, this will give you a real time um, estimate of how long it should take your camera to do the same thing here. We're still at, now we just jumped up to three of nine. We're still at three of nine, it looks like. Still hanging in there at three of nine. Now we're at four. Uh, just to, <clears throat> interestingly enough, this firmware is not available for download on the Curvert website. At least it wasn't a couple of days ago when I checked. And when I emailed support about it, they said that it's not available. So apparently the only way you can upgrade your 12.0 is to do it out here in the field. 
I imagine that if you were having problems and uh, needed the firmware upgrade to hopefully fix some of the issues, um, and one of your problems being that it wouldn't download, I bet you support could probably provide you with the firmware. They would just rather you download it from the camera. Alright, now we're at 5 and 9. Let me tell you a little bit about this battery pack. It's not your typical pack. Um, as you can tell, I'm going to end up having to replace that solar panel. I bought a cheapie off eBay. Uh, it was an encapsulated 6-volt uh, panel. Uh, but as you can tell, the encapsulation or whatever they use to the coating um, is already faded. and ain't been out here very long. Uh, that's a Plano uh, little ammo box that I get at my local farm store. Uh, for $3.99, $4, something like that. Inside there, there is a 6 volt, 7 amp hour battery. Um, Covert sells the, the cable that you need to use to plug into your camera, but it has a voltage converter on it for use with a 12 volt battery. I like to run 6 volt batteries because they're cheaper uh, and uh, the solar panels are smaller. So, <clears throat> this is just a piece of outdoor extension cord that I cut off put connectors on the inside there for the battery spade lugs and then I found um, the connector that goes into the uh, camera I found several pigtails on eBay so that's how I did all that we're at looks like we're at eight of nine now so we're getting there This video is coming up on uh, a little bit over seven minutes now, so it's taken me that long to get to this point. Still at eight of nine. Hang in with me, folks. Uh, this may take a little bit, so. All right, it says we've downloaded nine of nine. Looks like it's gone back to the menu screen. So I think it's done. So now the next step in the process is to remove the SD card and set it to the lock position. So we're gonna turn the camera off Okay, we're going to remove the SD card. See, I have a, as you can see it there, I have a 16 gig SD card. And we're going to flip this little, sorry guys, I'm trying to do all this one handed. Uh, we're going to flip this little white deal right here to the lock position, which this means to push it down. So I'm going to see if I can do this uh, with one hand. Alright, so is it is in the down position or locked position now. I don't know if you can see that. So the next step is to insert it back into the camera. Alright, you hear it click. Now the next step is to put it back into setup mode and we should see a message on the screen indicating that the firmware had been successfully uploaded. So we're going to see what it says here. Still haven't seen a message, but it may take it a little bit. Search network.
that's numbers associated with AT&T. It says synchronized to portal. Synchronization, synchronization successful. Okay, I believe that is what you're supposed to see when the firmware has been updated. All right. Now, the next step is to turn the camera back off. Remove the SD card and set your SD card back to unlock. So we're going to move that little slider up. See if I can do it again with one hand. All right. Got it. It is now in the up position and the SD card is unlocked. So we're going to reinsert it. Turn the camera back to setup and let it come back up and initialize. We should see the checking message. There you go. Sorry guys, the so shaky. It's hard to hold this my phone, right? Now it says search network. The number associated with the uh, provider and it says AT&T over the top. So that's all good sign, boys. All right, now let's go and check to see what firmware version we have. And you do that by going back into menu, going over to system, going all the way down to the bottom. I did that quickly by meshing the up arrow, and it goes all the way to the bottom of the menu to FW version. You hit OK. You should show the updated version of version 3.00.29.01. That is the latest version that is out as of today. So it looks like our firmware upgrade was successful. Now we want to exit out of that menu. We want to hit menu again to exit out. We want to turn the camera into the on position. The LCD will go out. Now you can close your camera back. Make sure that it's latched good. All right, that's in there good and you're good to go. Uh, notice that I did not have to unplug the external battery pack. I like that feature. On the older models, you had to unplug it before you could even open the case because the battery pack went through the outer face of the camera. Uh, the new redesign moved it back to where you can actually open the camera up and do whatever you need to and not have to unplug or fiddle with the external battery pack. So there you have it, folks. How to upgrade your firmware on the 2016 Covert Code Black 12.0. Thanks, guys.